I want to share with you a program I put together, and it's actually a result of work over the last eight to 10 months. And this is going to be a short one, I promise, because I want to tell you about the program, who it's for, and then give you the opportunity to reach out. That's really it. What I have is I have a program where I've taken all the work I've done around all those things you see me talking about, patient life cycle, patient experience, arrive, pay, and stay, scalability and growth, scaling your business, selling your business, setting yourself up for an exit, all those things. I have pulled all those things together and put together a three-step process. And you're going to be seeing it more and you're going to see it written out and you're going to hear me talking about this more. And I'm still talking to you about the same exact things when you see these posts. It's just, I want you to understand better and I want you to be able to see what our work looks like together. I talk about it being for uh, to seven figures and beyond, right? It's not for brand new clinic owners, but it's for by the way, I love this statement. It's for people that are tired of being tired, right? It's for people that have gone through other programs, have gone through group trainings, have gone through masterminds, and have really hit that peak, right? And you're there and you understand the value of other people in the group, but your the end result, your revenue, your profit, your scalability, your growth, your bottom line, your top line is not showing the change that you believe it should show for the work you're doing. And again, you're doing the work, right? And these are my best clients. They're doing the work, but they've hit a roof, right? Where they are. And now it's time to step on to this one-on-one -on -one work. And this program is all one-on-one. -on -one. It's me, it's you. There is no recorded content. There are no packages sent out. There are no recordings to view. There are no once a month meetings, right? The, this is an ongoing process one in one with me and you. Let me tell you about this, um, this program. Again, it's three steps, right? And it's a three step process. The first step is the practice health evaluation. You're going to notice it sounds like treating a patient, which I love the practice health evaluation, right? So if and when we agree to do some work together, because we're going to get on a call, and we're going to make sure you're the right fit for me. And what that means is I'm not going to bring you on, because I have nowhere to hide. It's one on one. I've got nowhere to hide. I can't throw you in a group, throw you with other people, feed you a bunch of information and hope those people coach you along. No, it's me. It's you, right? I only take a handful of people a year because of this, because I dedicate my time to you, your business, your practice, your results, your numbers, your clients, your staff, your hiring, your needs, you, you, you your solutions, right? This is what this is about. It's about bringing the solutions you need in your practice, not a piece of paper with a template and structure on it that says this is a solution, go implement it. I'm gonna, we're going to talk through your business. And that's what part of the practice health evaluation step one is all about, figuring out your current state. And we approach it from this journey of your patient, right? That's what it's based on. What's best for the patient is best for business right? Typically, people have a lot of metrics they're measuring, and they don't really know, right? I'm not saying anybody's measuring the wrong metrics by, by any stretch. But when we start breaking down the metrics, and I ask them the value of these metrics, and what they really tell you about the business, there's some confusion around that. So part of this program, and part of this first step, this practice health evaluation step, is to figure out the metrics you're currently measuring, and what you are measuring, and make sure we start from the beginning. Okay, cool. If, if you're not measuring, then we start measuring things. If you are measuring all these things, and you've got a, you've got an Excel spreadsheet with 13 things you're tracking, we're going to pull out the three to five most important metrics, because there are key metrics. Usually there's three, depending on the practice model, there might be five, but usually there's three to five, right, that you can use to follow along and use as a guide to tell you if the work you're doing is going to deliver a result. Remember at the beginning, are you tired of being tired, right? Chasing cancels downstream, chasing no-shows, chasing drop-offs, right? All those things are not a solution to you getting the freedom you created, right? Or the reason you created your business is you wanted this, you wanted this freedom, right? And so during the 
step one in this practice health evaluation, we look at your current state. We set benchmarks. We set the things we're going to measure. Because here's my other promise to people is while we're doing the work together, you're going to see the results. So we're going to do one on work together. We're going to meet regularly. We're going to look at these. We're going to look at these metrics. We're going to train your team. We're going to look at managing the systems and processes and connecting them all together so you can have something that creates that freedom you wanted, right? Uh, step number two, practice success protocol is actually doing the work, putting and building out the systems. I have the templates for all the systems you need. By the way, you don't get them emailed to you and say, good luck. We roll these out in the order they need to go, which is what we follow a person, a patient, your typical best client patient through their journey within your business. And we build it out from where? The first step, right? We look at your marketing. We look at the initial contact, the sales process, or the pre-arrival process. We then look at the arrival process, which includes your front desk team and the evaluation. And then we look at the course of care. That's how we build the systems out. Because the key is the more work you do upstream, the less work you have to do downstream. And if we do these out of order, you don't see the connectedness of the business, all right? That's step two. Um, is really the longest part of this work to be done. And then step three, I, I call the practice wellness plan, right? And this is like calling to check in on your patients. So we continue to do follow-up calls. We continue to look at the metrics. We continue to fine tune and tweak the processes and systems we put together because Lord knows it ain't static, right? But the goal is to leave you behind with all the systems and processes, right? That will drive growth, drive scalability, drive profit, drive revenue, right? Improved arrive, pay and stay, right? Making sure you understand where the value is in the systems and process in your business for the buyer that's going to come and evaluate your business in one, two, three, five, ten 10 years, right? That's the goal of all this. The people I've been successful with, right? Um, typically have two to three staff members. It's not for startups, right? I've worked with 30 clinic practices to implement this stuff. And I've worked with people with one clinic, right? With three to four employees who really see, you know, I got to this point, but now I don't know how to manage these people. I don't know how to manage the meetings. I don't know how to connect the dots. I really don't know how to make sure that what is going on in the evaluation room is what I want everybody to do, right? This is the process you and I sit down and fine tune. We make it reproducible. So when you leave the office for two weeks, right? To go to the beach, you know, the same systems, the same wheel is turning, right? I, that's what I say. We create this flywheel and it just keeps turning even after you're gone, right? This is the program. I've structured it so you can see it, right? Again, it's the work to be done. It's the work when you're looking at testimonials on my um, social media, on my website, these are the testimonials from this work done with these people. And if you go to my website, clientexperiencecompany.com, you'll see people in different settings and different practice models and different pair models talking about the success they had working with me one-on-one -on -one to achieve some of these things, scalability, growth, more arrive at pay and stay, better conversion rate, right? First visit arrival, things like that. You'll see that on my website. You'll see their testimonials. So really the big take home here is this is all about done for you and done with you. Your practice model, your pair model, your clients and patients, your staff, your hiring, your needs. By the way, your problems, you bring your problems directly to me. You don't have to talk to someone else in a group who isn't where you are, right? Isn't where you are? I think that's correct, right? We talk this stuff out. Where does this fit in the process? When should we manage this, right? We'll talk about hiring, right? We'll talk about meeting structure, right? This is key for accountability. And just so you know, again, I've worked with single site and multiple site practices. I've worked with six figure and seven figure practices to add more zeros, right? Again, this, I'm looking for clinicians who've been establishing and are just kind of churning at the six figure, probably mid to high six figures. And you want to get over to the six figure. I've got a couple of clients right now. They're in the seven figure range, right? And they want to add more zeros, right? We're working to build up the sevens and move to eights.
here, right? I've worked with practices to add new services for what their patients want. I'm currently doing that with a couple clients. So we're always looking towards the future. How can we maximize capacity without even people being in your space? How can we maximize rev revenue per visit by the value we add, right? So all I need from you is your willingness to do the work and see the results, right? We're going to optimize your patient's journey. We're going to identify your key business metrics, right? Based on that journey. So these are all things you're probably aware of or doing currently. We're going to kick it up. We're going to put a fifth gear in. We're going to put a sixth gear in, right? We will build out your plan, right? You do the work, you execute we do this together, you execute, you come back, your team comes back, we'll train your team, we'll do all these things that is are tailored specifically to your business. Now, all I need from you is your time. I need 30 minutes of your time. We jump on a call, the link's down below. We jump on a call, and we talk about your current, you tell me what you're looking for. We don't talk about your current state in a way we do, because you tell me what you're looking for. What are you currently, right? What are your problems currently? And then what are you looking for in the future? Where are you currently, where do you want to get to? And then we're going to have a talk and just see, hey, am I the right fit for you? Because if I'm not, I'll find the right person for you too, right? I've done, I just did that last week with someone, right? Not everybody's the right fit, but the key is you get to the right next step, right? And that's all. There's no obligation. At the end of that call, we decide, do we want another call or do I send you some information about other people? That's it. So seven figures and beyond get you more revenue, more profit, more patients who arrive, pay and stay, better connectedness of your business. Have you set up for an exit? Have you see your exit? exit? Have you set up for scalability and growth? If any of those things sound like something you want, then click on the link below and schedule a call. Again, there's no obligation. And I will promise you, if you're not the right fit, I can't hide. I can't take people on. I've got a lot of the accountability here, right? We need, I'm on the hook to you 100%. It's me and you meeting every week. Where am I going to hide? I can't hide in the group. So again, if you're at that point where you're tired of being tired, book a call below and I look forward to working with you. Cheers.